And we're back and we're making waves here at DEFSEC Atlantic. This is a very exciting time to be in the marine and defense sector. A lot of companies leaning into this. There's big companies here looking for partners right now. And there's companies that are thinking creatively about the marine and defense sector. And uh, our next uh, guest at his company is certainly, certainly, or certainly one of those for sure. So uh, Randy, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Randy Billard. I'm the, I'm the president and CEO of Virtual Marine. Uh, I'm a small town Newfoundland guy. I came from Isle of Morton, Newfoundland. Stop now, where's that? You're going to have to explain where that that's, is. Uh, that's a bit as far away from St. John's as you can get driving towards Port of Asque. <laughs> you go, go, go west of St. John's, go down past Port of Asque, and you're in a little town called Isle of Morton. Wow. But it's a very historic, historic town. Uh, we're very well known for a couple of stories, one being the shipwrecks that we had around our, around our spot. So we, you know, one, of the, one of the Coast Guard vessels, the Ann Harvey, is named after a, an accident that happened on a de the dispatch was uh, uh, what crashed onto uh, next to Alamort Mort uh, in the 1800s. I didn't and, know that. Yeah. And Anne Harvey was uh, was was the the daughter of a man who rescued people aboard the, aboard that shipwreck. Right? Right? As a great little story, uh, what they did is they they had a, a Newfoundland dog that uh, fetched a line out to this dispatch and helped people bring that line back and rescued 100 people from. Well, the, as the Newfoundlanders, we should know this, but you know, oh, and you know, and, and we'll, we'll talk about it in a second. I'm now I'm working in a safety company, teaching people how to how to be prepared for harsh environments. So the story came back to full years circle, later. eh? Absolutely. The ocean is in your blood, obviously. Wow. It's there, and we respect the ocean so much as yeah. Newfoundlanders, but especially in our small, small town, we're underwater every other day. So you grew up down there. How did you make your way in here? Uh, well, I was uh, I, I I came through the normal routes. I I, I went into corner book and started doing math, and then I became an engineer. Uh, I, I finished uh, a mechanical engineering degree at Mon in 2003. I did a master's in naval architecture engineering, and then I did a PhD in human factor study. Now I'm managing a software and safety team, so none of it makes any sense, but <laughs> that's just what we did. We adapted to what was needed at the time. And that's You're the we master are. of the pivot by the sound of it, that's although a, it all is tied together. It's all, right? it's all really cool, all really interesting, but you know. You're clearly a lover of lifelong learning. And I'm still there, and we're teaching. We're, we're, we're a teaching company, so yeah. Yeah. We like seeing people fantastic, learn. Randy. Tell me about the company you're into now. Well, what is it you do? So Virtual Marine, uh, we're, we're, we're a double-edged sword. We, we build uh, we build simulators for people how to learn how to how to practice and do do difficult things on the water. So our two of our two of our, our primary simulators are our lifeboat simulators, where we teach a lifeboat simulator. Sorry, where we teach people how to launch a lifeboat from an oil and gas platform into six or eight meter seas, and stuff can go wrong, things can be on fire. But the only way you can really practice for those types of events is is with a simulator. Right. It, it, you know, so you're in a physical you, moving simulator. Yeah, it's like a flight simulator that wow. you, uh, you where you learn how to launch a light boat and, and save 80 people from an oil and gas platform. A lot of our words came from uh, uh, you know, safety recommendations came from Access Newfoundland with the Ocean Ranger. Right. So we're recognized that safety equipment needed a boost, but also training on safety equipment needed a boost. Right. And that's how I started my my master's degree was uh, on a research program that was looking at how to make training better for light boat operators. So we eureka and said, well, we had a flight simulator tailored to light boat training. Right. We could do it for, uh, we could just teach people how to, how to, how to be prepared. Be, 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 yeah. be Don't prepared need to reinvent that wheel yeah, exactly. and stay somewhere else, right? Yeah. This is really important yeah. to the marine yeah. industry, what you're doing. Yeah, but we, had, but we had to make it our flavor. So the reason we're in Newfoundland is we really had to make sure harsh environments were, uh, were really well yeah. simulated. So. Yeah. We're dealing with the experts in wave mechanics and light boat mechanics and people who know harsh environments here. And right. the beautiful thing with Newfoundland is harsh environments come to us. We don't have to yeah, look for it. That's right, yeah. So we build all that expertise. Oh, no, from a tourism perspective, no, no. It's always 30 degrees and beautiful in St. John's yes, and Newfoundland. <laughs> that's right. But you're right. It is amazing to, to hear you talk about that. Newfoundland is a great place to to do these types of things. Yeah, and there's, and there's so, so much expertise. And the craftiness of Newfoundlanders, uh, I mean, it's just a great place to, to innovate and be uh, be part of a, a team that really knows knows the problem, can yeah. really knows how to solve it. Yeah, Randy, there's something special about Newfoundland and their creativity and, in everything, right? Absolutely. The music, the food, the culture. Absolutely. It transpires into business as yeah. well. But there's one thing that's really cool about Newfoundland that Jerry and I have come to realize and that is that they like to see each other succeed. They want, Absolutely. they understand the importance of a rising tide yeah. floating all boats. And, and that to me is also what this show represents. Right. I mean, there's a lot of companies here collaborating in a conversation. This is a pretty exciting marketplace to be in. Tell me what growth you see here. Well, well we have, 
I see two big potentials for us here. Yeah. First, I just I just gave an example of what we're doing with oil and gas. Yeah. We we pivot into military and right. race simulations for uh, just just to meet the same need in, in right. the defense industry here. And we got some we've got some good good partners uh, here in here in Halifax and or, I'm sorry Atlantic Canada. Yeah. But we're distributing these simulators worldwide based on stuff that was built in Atlantic Canada. Wow. But going as far as Germany, Europe. So just our ability to tap into a lot of the expertise here is great. Right. But I mean, there's also just we're we're, we're a smaller company. We're, yeah. we're a 25 person company, but we work with at any one time, and I've I've done the count. You know, it's anywhere from 40 to 60 people in companies that are complimentary to us. Right. Like Genoa being one. We work with the universities. We work with. Uh, we're ready to start a supercluster project with. Uh, uh, with, with, with companies like GRI and Hatch and, and, and m &P, and we're all coming together to solve very specific problems wow. using all of our expertise. Yeah. So our biggest thing to be coming to these groups is, you know, uh, in one, we can see how we collectively can serve, serve the, the industry that's being, that's being represented here, but also see who else we can work with, who, who we can partner with. Right. And uh, that's, that's, that's such a big game for us, and yeah. collaboration is such a big, big, a big, uh, big, a big important thing for us right now, and that's, that's, our, that's our secondary goal here. Yeah. And who else can we work with? And you, you touched on a couple of things there. You talked about universities and stuff. I can sense that you understand very well the importance of government, industry, and academia right. working together. Yeah. Right? And you probably are a big part of that. I mean, you named uh, some of the projects you're involved in, right. government sponsors a little bit in behind Correct. there, yeah. industry in there, advancing technology through that, academic partners providing yeah. some ideas and some creation in there, but also uh, the academic partners are getting first look at opportunities for their students and the like. It's a win-win all around. Yeah, well, we came from the university, Memorial University in Newfoundland. But did you come through Genesis? Is we it? did come through Genesis. Oh, wow. We were, uh, we, when I came on the scene, there was, there was probably four or five people working on marine simulations. And now that community in Newfoundland has grown to dozens of people. Right. Uh, through programs that we that we did with the university, we have had a research program with the university, Memorial University every year since we, we we incorporated. So for the last 17 years, we've been doing research with the wow. university. We put we published hundreds of papers. Uh, we we graduated dozens of master's graduate students. A lot of them were coming to work with us. A lot of them were coming working in these cool tech companies which are here today. Wow. And you know it's it's just a great. So you're great. mentoring youth. Absolutely. Isn't yeah. that great? We uh, we absolutely. Alan and I believe. A lot in that, you know, as a young person when I started, that that kind of thing wasn't, I guess, as prevalent. But yeah. hearing now what you're doing, like my son actually just started in the Marine Institute in the Nautical Science Program. Yeah. Um, you know, we were at Irving a couple of weeks ago, and, and they can't get graduates fast enough. Yeah. So you know, the HR uh, staffing piece is is a little bit tricky right now for a lot of people, is it not? Oh, it, it is. It's, it's it's such a challenge right now, and that's why collaboration is so that's important. Right. Like rather than us look for people, we look for partners. Right, right. exactly. And, um, and, and on the mentoring part, I mean, I, I grew up, I'll go back to my Moore days, where when I was taught how to had a, 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 a pilot a boat, I had someone who put me in a boat and just showed me what to do. And that's just, we really, we do a lot of this hands-on right. training with new graduates or, or, or new students coming at, yeah. at a university. We, we put them right in the mix of our team. Yeah. And we find through the programs that are available through Mon and these things that too very high performing people, they, yeah. they, they become, they really evolve into technology experts really fast. It's we interesting, Randy, I think growing up in Newfoundland, you do respect nature, and you're, mm -hmm. you're, in, you're in touch with nature, and, and the ocean, uh, you talked about your company, you came out of kind of the ocean ranger, and the, the safety things that came around that, I remember when that storm was hitting, it was, I can't even imagine, uh, you know, how uh, the sadness of those people on, on that particular um, rig, but anyway. Newfoundland has an incredible training ground, and what you're doing virtually is just astounding. Well, we're, you know, we're giving people a chance. Yeah, so right now, we can, we can put people in that exact situation, like a high sea state with wind, low visibility, things going wrong. You got to make yeah. your decision, and we can give them two things. We can give them confidence that they can do it, yeah. and we can also give them the confidence to make you know practice and train and be able to give yourself a better chance of getting yeah. getting off a long gas platform. And we could we couldn't do this. 15 years ago. And Randy, mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong, I think your company does a little bit of work uh, with indigenous groups as well, is that right? We are, we are, and a lot of our work is, or some of our work is going towards how do we train people in remote locations, right. uh, northern Canada, for example, being yep. one of them, and right. yes, we're, we're very much start, starting yeah. to pave the way of training it, people in the north, yeah. It sounds to me like this is a, a true 
a Canadian success story. This is a small, medium enterprise here doing amazing things, new technology, disrupting the market a mm -hmm. little bit Very with a, a new way of doing business. Uh, yet your common sense approach to it is fascinating, right? I mean, you saw that it was being done in another sector. Let's not totally reinvent the wheel, mm -hmm. but uh, let's bring that over to this uh, industry. So Randy, I think you're doing fascinating work. Thanks so much. And, uh, Thank you very much for making waves and we really appreciate what you're contributing to this conversation and the service that you're providing to Canada because what you're talking about here are keeping people safe. That's Absolutely. a very important That's role. our number one. It's our number well, one role. When we hear there's a storm going on and yeah. we like to think that the people who are training on our stuff, yeah. they, they believe they can, they're in a good, good, well, good spot. Well, Randy, you know what? I've worked in marketing for 30 years. I'm looking at your business card. It says Virtual Marine Performance Simulation and Training. Look at that, Al. Yep. Be ready. That's it. Be ready. Man, that's, you got to be that's ready our, that's in everything game. you do yeah. in life, and Absolutely. you guys are doing it. Thank you for, for doing that and making people safe. Perfect. Well, thanks, thanks so much for having me. Cheers. All right. Thanks, sir.